song is based on an actual event in April 1921, a bit of original thinking by a local IRA youth in urgent need of transport for an action 50 miles away. It's probably the first real song I ever learned, but I don't think I've sung it for nearly 50 years. It was down by Brannigan's corner one morning on this train. I met a fellow rebel and to me he did say, We've got orders from our captain to assemble at Dunbar. How about how are we to get there without the motor car? Now, Barney dear, be all good cheer, I'll tell you what we'll do. The specials, they are plentiful, but the IRA are few. We'll send the wire to Johnson to meet us at Strangler. I might give the boys a bloody good ride in Johnson's motor car. Now when Dr. Johnson heard the news, he soon put on his shoes. He said, this is a urgent case, there is no time to lose. He then put on his castor hat and on his breast a star. And you could hear the din of who can fin of Johnson's motor car. Ah, but when he got to the railway bridge, the rebels he saw there. Oh, Johnson knew the game was up, for at him they did stare. He said, I have a permit to travel near and far. What the hell would your English permit buy? We want your motor car. What will my loyal brethren think when they hear the my car, it has been commandeered by the rebels at the loose. We'll give you a receipt for it, all signed by Captain Barr. I'm an Ireland, get so freedom, why you'll get your motor car. Well, they put that car in motion and they filled it to the brim. With guns and bayonets shining, which made old Johnson grim. And Barney hoisted a Sinn Féin flag and it fluttered like a star. I we give three cheers for the IRA and Johnson's motor car. Yes, we give three cheers for the IRA and Johnson's motor car. True story. Based on a true event.